morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, and I've got another awesome Code Blocks lesson for you. If you click on Code Blocks, remember when it launches, there are all these cool items on the front, but we want to slide down and start a new design. If you ever can't find your designs, remember they're down below. Let's click New Design and get cracking. We are going to rename this file as Great wall and then I always put my initials after it. Now if you're going to make a wall you need to start with bricks so let's bring out a modify command and drop that new object in and then just like we did a moment ago rename it and like I said this one is going to be a brick. Bricks are generally made of cubes so let's click on our shapes bring out a box drop that underneath the purple connection so that it's fixed and let's change its measurements and I'm gonna tell you that good numbers are eight five four and then this one listen closely it is 0.5 if you put in a whole five it'll look really wacky and then I want your edge steps to be one and then as we've learned before once you've got these all clicked click out here so that they're finalized and hit play to watch your bricks show up I'm going to zoom in and take a peek at it better by hitting the plus sign and then looking at it. Remember, whenever we draw, it draws at 0, 0, so we need to add a move command afterwards that raises it up half as high. Z is the up. Our height was 4, so that means half of 4 is 2. This time when we hit play, our brick looks like that. If you want a different color brick, that is fantastic. Just pick your color, and the next time you draw, up it goes. What we just did, I would call brute force programming. We want a part, we bring it out, and we just type in the numbers and make it happen. This is fine, but life gets so much cooler when you learn how to use variables for all these numbers so that you can automate the process. So simply bring out a variable item and then we want to make one for each of these. Width. Bring out another one for the length. And I like to do them in the same order they happen. That just makes it easier to keep it straight. And then the last one will be height. I'll move this down so there's a little more room. And there's my height. Now we need to take these same numbers and put them out in the boxes. There's my 8, there's my 5, and there's my 4. Once again, reminding you, clicking out in this area afterwards finalizes those. I've drawn a lot of shapes where I forget that, and then you're wondering why didn't it happen. With these variables created, let's move down to the data and let's replace them in our box. There's the length in the box, here's the width in the box, and then last but not least, our height. And then we can change this to a math operation, so bring out the math operation, and then we always want to take the height of the block, and we want to divide it, make sure you remember that, by 2. Or you could multiply times 0.5, whichever way you prefer. When you hit play, it works just the way it did before. Just for giggles, you can make this 12. Click out to finalize it. When you hit play, your brick changes, but I'm going to tell you for this project, 8 is the number we want to stick with. Now I told you we're creating a wall, so if you're going to make a wall, you need layers of bricks. Find your controls, and we want the count with I. I like to count with I from zero, so I'm going to put that zero in there, and then I need to bring out my little modify and create the object called layer. These layers are made of bricks, so let's find the add a copy of the object. When you bring this out, there is a spot where you can drop in your objects and we can go down to data and we can find our brick. When we drop our brick in, you could keep the color or you could change the color. Just for giggles, I'm gonna make mine purple. 
and then we need to put in a move beneath it just like we did before this move is going to be a little more fancy though because we want to move one entire brick over every single time and that is in our x direction so bring out your math find the operator and to increase by that amount each time we are going to multiply with this amazing variable i make sure when you drop this in when it's all selected you would replace the whole operation we want to put it in the hole we want to switch to multiplication and then we've got to multiply by the width that it moves across so grab your width variable and drop it in that box when you hit play this time you will get lovely purple bricks passed all the way across your cool project and you will have created an awesome layer now my goal is for you to make an entire building but we are gonna start with just making a wall so let's complete this step again first bring out a new object and we're gonna call it wall of course and let me show you a neat trick this is the same type code we're going to use so you can do control C and control V to make a copy of it but instead of using the brick we are going to reuse the object layer we still want 10 layers or you could pick a different number and we just need to move the math we don't want the math to be on the X anymore we want it to be on the Z and we also don't want it to be with the width we want to change the height drop in the Z bring out your height and then hit play to watch your beautiful building grow So there you have it an awesome wall now here's your challenge could you make it so that the bricks were staggered back and forth can you make an entire building can you cut a door in your wall think of all the cool things that you can build with this cool technique before I wrap it up though I need to have you clean up a few things remember we made a brick and we made a layer we don't need those anymore so then at the bottom of our wall let's delete them find the delete object and we want to delete the brick that was originally built and we're going to delete two objects so let's do this ahead of time control C control V so now we've got both objects ready to be deleted and then scroll down to your data and we want to delete the brick and we want to delete the layer I'm also going to speed this up so that it shows up faster there you can see there was a blue one created there are my purple ones created and then at the very end if you were looking real closely you may have seen the blue one and that first purple layer deleted friends I hope you have fun with this I hope you keep exploring it if you do make something cool make sure you share it with us at HL Mod Tech friends if you like this movie please hit the like button if you haven't hit subscribe what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button click that notifications bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me HL Mod Tech and if you got a question or a comment please leave it down below have fun friends thanks for watching and keep tinkering Thank you.